In a recent study by the American Medical Association, 110 of 111 NFL player brains that were studied had evidence of CTE. This is the brand new Vice Zero One. It's been proven to be the safest football helmet on the market. So you played football at the collegiate level. Technically, it was for the UNC club team. When people sign up to play football, they know that they're getting into a contact sport. It's probably yeah. better classified as a collision sport. Do the helmets make you safe? Maybe they prevent lacerations or skull fractures. I know that one theme has been that the helmets actually become a weapon. It gives players like a feeling of invincibility, and you approach contact in a way that you wouldn't if your body was exposed. So in a normal helmet, the outside's really hard, and the inside has soft padding. On this helmet, it's a little bit different. The outside's kind of soft. The inside really bends, and then the very, very inside is like a super hard shell. Look, it, it's better than any helmet on the market in any measurable way that we have. So what I'm wearing, I mean, sure, it's, it's definitely heavier than the helmets I remember playing with. You think so? Um, the padding on the inside is a little bit more cushioned. Like, I remember the padding being mm -hmm. really stiff. The big push for a lot of this equipment is that it looks cool. They brought in a design studio artifact, really celebrated industrial design firm yeah. out of Seattle to make sure just that, like, it looked cool. Because in the past, they have developed helmets that weren't cool enough for NFL players to for wear. Sure. I think where I'm at right now is like, again, I, I believe it's the best helmet in the world. And what I worry about myself is just that this is the exact kind of thing that like has a red herring to the real problem. Based on the science we have now, all the studies yeah. have been done, the data seems to suggest that rugby players in a similar collision mm -hmm. sport seem to suffer traumatic head injuries and concussions at a slightly lower rate. I just feel like the game might be a little bit safer if there were no pads, no helmets. You want to go no pads again? I would love to see sort of an alternate league come up, sort of like the ABA mm -hmm. did to compete with the NBA. I think more testing should be done, but it's almost inevitable that once you put on the pads and the body armor, right. all that stuff goes can, out the And way. you hit yourself a little bit, you feel nothing, you're like, yeah. let's do this. You fly yeah. in head yeah. first. It just completely changes the sport. I still yeah. want to agree with you, and I would, I would. If if not for the fact that dozens of people died a year before we had helmets playing football. And that yeah. was before they were like totally jacked up dudes like they are today. These are like sure. turn of the century football players. These guys are like butchers in their spare time. Right. I feel like the player running in unprotected is gonna be a little bit smarter about how they move, how they brace for impact the same way that a defensive player running in without the protection is gonna approach the tackle. Maybe he'll go for the ankles more than flying in, you know, head to shoulder or head to chest. I think the problem is we just won't know whether it's real or not for a really long time, right? Yeah. Until it's like 20 or 30 years, you have enough people wearing these and then you do, you know, posthumous scans on the brain again and you see whether or not it works. Yeah, it's a tough position, but like I'm, I'm excited to see at least, you know, how this performs going forward and how many NFL players put it on and, and report back and don't switch back. It's worth noting too that this technology isn't necessarily limited to football. It's reasonable to assume that they could scale the idea to other sports that don't have contact at their core. Mm -hmm. So if you are snowboarding or doing something else, maybe you'll just be doing that safer as a result. We have a 350 pound linebacker in the back who's just gonna tap you. We'll try it out. If you can catch her. <laughs>